You guys thought I was gone, didn't you? I bet you guys thought I was considering quitting or something. <laughs> Anyway, so we're talking about Steam Exo today. So Steam Exo is kind of the weird middle child between Cyber and Extreme, and depending what you thought about Extreme, this you could either consider these growing pains or just straight up pain. And even though the original design for this guy looks pretty bad, um, I think that I definitely improved on it a lot, helped modernize it, made it more clean, and uh, we're gonna be taking a look at it. Finally, it's been a year since this guy came out, which is kind of crazy, so uh, let's look at him now. So, of course, we'll start with the chip. It is the same as the original XO2 chip, and even with the whole blue stud thing, this makes it off-balance, and I'm not wrong, by definition, it is off-balance, but by, like, nothing, so whatever. For the Steam Blade, the shape is pretty much the same as the original. It has XO's main contact points. This guy is, of course, on the sides now. And the new main blades originally had dish pieces, but I removed them because they were too thick. Uh, not like they looked good anyway. But now we have sort of this um, quarter tile and this uh, plate right here, which I guess is kind of similar. Not an upper attack. I don't want to hear that in the comments. It's just a thing that that I made, and I think it's a lot better than the old one. It's also a lot less messy since all the black has been moved to the chassis. This is the 5A chassis. Finally, a new attack chassis. No more reprints of 1A, the dash version, 3A, 4A, FA. And this thing's whole thing is that it's got teeth on it, and um, it looks cool. So yeah, it's a pretty cool shape for a 4x4 bracket. These things are still good. I don't care. They are. Don't be ashamed if you still use them, all right? That's fine. And for the tip, we have Assault. It's just the bottom of a stud, nothing too crazy, but it is a really crazy good attack tip. I'd say it's probably the best. Might be better Excel, but that kind of depends who you ask. So yeah, overall, I think this is pretty good. For a design that's trying to be something new and fresh, but also trying to invoke the spirit of an original design, I think I pulled it off pretty well. And like, it's my thing. Who cares if one guy's like, it looks ugly, like, bro. It's green! Now we're at everyone's favorite part of the video, the weight, and since no matter what camera angle I get it at, I can't focus on this. I don't know why, it's probably because I'm using a ring light, so you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it on this. So the chip is 3.99 grams, the blade is 13.14 grams, the chassis is 13 grams, and the tip is 1.43 grams. So let's put this guy together and weigh the full combo. And the full Beyblade weighs a total of 31.55 grams, as opposed to the original, which is 30.99 grams. So it is heavier, but is it actually better? Well, we're about to find out. Get back in frame. Okay, okay there we go. Alright, so we are at the Beyblade Attack Stadium. I don't know why I said that. But uh, we're going to test out, of course, Steam XO, in case you watched the whole video. It spins like that. And we are going to be battling this against every other current turn system Beyblade once. So, uh, yeah, this will be pretty interesting. We'll be doing it in release order first, so we're going to start with Cyber. Alright, I am afraid, because attack type versus attack type. Alright, not as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Wow, I'm very good at speaking. Uh, Cyber 1 through Stamina, not too surprising, honestly. I did sacrifice Stamina for attack power, so, you know, it is what it is. Alright, Taurus. I wonder what's gonna happen. Right, go shoot. And go shoot. Launched that guy pretty hard this time and just kicked it out of there. Wow. <laughs> Last time I battled this thing, it was terrible, so that's pretty cool. Hydra's up next. Um, so, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, we got this guy up next. What's his name? Barbarian. Right, yeah. I knew that. I knew that. Go shoot. It's in attack mode because that's more fun. Go shoot. And... Wow. Wow. <laughs> this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You see, I thought it was going to be pretty bad because all the blades are evened out, which lo usually lowers the attack potential, but it seems like it's holding its own. Alright, we have Fang Phantom up next. This guy is much better when you weak launch him, so keep that in mind. See what I mean? I got the strat with this thing. I know how to launch it, so yeah, I, that guy, that guy's gonna win a lot. All right, now we're gonna watch it lose again. So 
This is so much fun. Go shoot. Go shoot. Alright. A uh, tie. Whoa. This definitely calls for a bit of a rematch. And it actually won! Wow! Cthulhu up next, and we'll do it in both spin directions, because why not? <laughs> it, uh, it de-chipped Cthulhu, so... First? You know, launching Cthulhu it makes me remember how heavy it is. Alright, whatever. I'll just leave it at that, honestly. Finally against Reaper. Ooh, spooky. Wow, we get to launch Exo first. Wow. 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 Oh, so yeah, that's sti- oh, wait, hold on. Balls, man. I am genuinely afraid. This Beyblade is scary. Yeah, please don't break. Please. I beg you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was Steam Exo. Pretty fun bay. Honestly, I did not expect it to win as many battles as it did. It did lose to Hydra, and it did lose to this, but that's because I'm pretty good with this Beyblade and uh, Fluke, I swear. So yeah, comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that, and I'll see you in the next video.